Hello and welcome to this tutorial on plotting of isometric view. This is a beginner tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to guide step by step on how to plot this uh, isometric view. The total length of the object can be observed from the top view. This is 100 and the radius is 30. So the total length is 130 mm and the total width is 60 mm and the height of the object can be observed from the front view it is uh, 50 mm so with these three dimensions i have constructed a box in order to save time i have already drawn the isometric axis and the box has been constructed now let us jump into the lesson It can also be observed that the object is having symmetry in the top view. The symmetry is about the horizontal line. So in the isometric view also, if you mark the symmetry line, the drawing can be constructed very easily. And also this approach will be a professional approach. Now we can mark 15 mm from here Let me draw a a reference line the reference line need not be darker now this distance is 30 mm and again this distance is 30 mm so totally 60 mm so let me mark a reference of 60 mm from the other end so what i can do is the width of the box is 60 mm so i can straight away take this value and i am marking a reference of 60 mm now Again, I am drawing a reference line. Now I want to mark the center of the hole and center of the semicircle. They are one and the same. Their distance is 30 mm from the end. So I can take 30 mm distance from here. This is 30 mm and I am marking the distance on extreme ends of the box. And we can pass a reference line. So now we have marked the the center of this circle and the center of the semicircle. Now we can proceed to construct the semicircle and circle. Let me consider this as the start point of the semicircle and this as the second point of semicircle and this as the end point of semicircle to find the centers i need to draw perpendicular through all the three points so point one the 
this is uh, point two. and this is point uh, 3 now we have uh, two cutting points this is one uh, cutting point and this is going to act as center for a portion of the arc and this is another cutting point and this is going to act as the center for the other portion of the arc so with this as center and this distance as radius I am trying to draw a portion of the arc now with this as center and this distance has radius this is the radius I am trying to draw the second arc so we have constructed the semicircle similarly we have to construct the circle the radius of the circle is 15 mm so I am taking 15 mm in the compass and try to draw a square of 15 mm using the same center so I have taken 15 mm in my compass and I am using the same center and I try to draw a square now these are the reference markings Now we can use a mini tractor to draw lines through the reference points. The reference line need not be darker. Now we have constructed a square, a square in order to draw the circle of radius 15 mm and we are going to use a method called four center method. The four center method I have already explained in another video so anyone who has got a doubt in uh, four center method you can refer my earlier video on how to draw a circle using four center method and you can uh, learn it there and try to apply so we have now found out uh, four centers center one center two center three and center four now i'm going to make use of these centers and the available radius to draw the circle so this is the first center I am using and this is the radius I am measuring from the drawing so this is the first part of circle and I am using the same radius and I am going to the opposite uh, center and I am drawing the other portion of the circle now I go to this center I go to this center and take uh, this as my radius measuring the existing radius and before you start an arc you should check whether uh, it is uh, coinciding with the already drawn arc so you have, you have to be very careful so I am checking and I find that it is coinciding 
so I am drawing arc now. So now we have uh, drawn the circle also. Now the next step is to uh, uh, that is uh, bringing the semicircle available over the top surface to the bottom surface. So the easiest method would be to shift the center of the arc. So what I am going to do is as a first step I am going to draw a vertical line as a tangent to this uh, arc. So I have drawn a vertical line and this line is a tangent to this arc. The purpose of drawing this line is uh, um, this is the line up to which you have to draw the arc. So I have drawn the tangent and at the same time this is the start point of our semicircle. The start point also I would like to shift it down for reference. So this is the point from where the semicircle is going to start. and. Uh, to draw this portion of the arc, I used uh, this point as the center. So this point also I have to now shift it downwards. The downward distance is uh, the height of the box. The height of the box is uh, 50 mm. So I am shifting the center by exactly 50 mm. So this is the point which is going to act as the center. So I am sharing the already available radius and I go to this uh, new point which is going to act as the center and I will try whether the arc is matching with uh, the reference point. Yes, it is perfectly matching. You can observe it is perfectly matching. So we can construct the arc. So we have uh, copied the semicircle over here in the bottom plane also. Now, the rest of the drawing is very easy to complete. So let me draw the reference lines. Uh, so I am aligning my scale with the, the isometric z-axis and I draw a line downwards. And we know that uh, the semicircular portion or the pillar-like portion ends here. So from here we are drawing a downward line. Similarly, I go to the other extreme and I draw a downward line. And now we can change the orientation of the drafter and mark the end of the other line. So this is the end of the other line. And you can also complete the slab like portion at the, at the bottom. So this is the slab like portion at the bottom and uh, now we have to mark some uh, features over here. Uh, before we mark, let us mark the middle point of this uh, line. The midpoint of this line is uh, 30 mm. So I take uh, the reference from the drawing itself. I take the reference from the drawing and this is uh, 30 mm. Now we need to mark uh, 15 mm here and 15 mm here. So let me again uh, take the values in my compass. So I have taken 15 mm in my compass and uh, mark a reference from the other end also. Similarly, the same 15 mm I can mark from here to here. So let me mark the reference. And also, there is a, 
segment 20 mm width segment to be drawn and from the center you can draw 10 mm 10 mm reference points and you can complete the, that portion also so I am taking 10 mm in my compass 10 mm in my compass and uh, mark those reference also and this is the most convenient way of doing uh, or working on a on an object with symmetry so when there is a symmetry in an object this is the most convenient way to work so let me complete all the required lines Once you make all these markings, then your job becomes very very simple and you, you need to draw only the lines. In isometric view, all the required lines alone should be drawn with a darker impression. If any unwanted line is uh, drawn with a darker impression, then it becomes a headache to erase them at the end of the drawing. Otherwise, they spoil the clarity of the drawing. So, we have almost come to the end of the drawing. And now, it is time to erase some uh, unwanted uh, lines. So, after eliminating the unwanted lines, the clarity of the drawing has improved. And with this, we come to the end of the tutorial. And if you find some interesting information in this tutorial, and if you really like the tutorial, you can press the like button, share the video to your friends who are learning engineering graphics. And also, please don't forget to subscribe the channel because we are posting new lessons almost every day. So you will be the one to get notified first. So see you in the next lesson with more examples. Bye for now.